Good morning, Bridie. Good morning. How has your week been? It's been another busy week again here at the headquarters of the fundraising challenger. Yes, very busy. Excellent. And you were saying that you have some exciting things to update us with, so go ahead. Yes, I, I had a really good meeting in London with the CEO of a very large um, national charity. So they are hoping to do some firewalking for their awareness week. That's coming up before Christmas. That's really exciting. And um, I'm launching a new free ebook to help charities with their fundraising. So that will be going online fairly soon on my website. Today we're going to be talking about cash reserves and business plans. Do you have cash reserves and how do you go about managing your finances? Sorry. Sure. I, I don't have a great deal of cash reserves. There's no need for me to uh, have particularly large cash reserves, although I do like to keep enough um, to cover any potential costs that I have coming up over the next month. So I do keep some cash reserves. Um, but for me, uh, I get funds coming in before the event takes place, so um, you know there's no need to have a great deal. Right, and how how do these funds come in before your event takes place? Every participant pays a registration fee, mm -hmm. and the registration fee covers the costs of the event. Right. So um, you know it's really really important to have commitment commitment from people who take part. So that's why there's a cost involved up front. And some charities choose to subsidise the places um, and other charities choose to ask local businesses to subsidise the places. So mm -hmm. there's various ways of getting the cash to come in. Okay. Um, and what about a business plan? I mean, you know, for what you do, especially considering it's quite, um, you plan well ahead in advance, don't you? So. Yeah, so do you think you could share a little with us about your business plan and how do you think a business plan is useful? I think it's essential. Um, I think that if you don't know where you're going, how will you get there? You yeah. Know, you know exactly what your plans are going to be for the next 12 months. I don't do a very long term business plan, but I do have a detailed business plan, certainly in terms of the events that I've got coming up and I have my aims written down, my mission written down, um, but I'm very creative and the mentor I work with uses um, a visual plan uh, which I quite like to work with, so I use a star plan. Oh, uh, what has your experience been writing up a business plan? What do you feel you've learnt from it? Um, in my previous life, I worked for a management consultant, so doing business plans for organisations was something that we did all the time. So I'm very fortunate in that I've got experience of doing it, um, but when it comes to doing your own, it's always good to have someone to sound your ideas out to, and, and, as it, and I keep going back to the fact that having a mentor is really important. Yeah. I have several people that I, I work with to do that. Right, and so if someone was in the midst of writing up a business plan now, um, what do you think would be the best piece of advice you would give them? I would say be very clear on what you're going to do over the next 6 to 12 months. Mm -hmm. Don't worry too much about the next 3 to 5 years unless you're going to the bank for a loan, in which case you'll need to get a really good business plan in place. Um, but be creative. You know, don't let it be such a daunting thing. It doesn't have to be all words. It can be a, a visual thing. Do a business plan in the way that suits you. Do you think you could um, elaborate a little more about it? what what exactly do you mean by visual, a visual business plan? Sure, I use a star plan, mm -hmm. which as I say my mentor Lucy Whittington encourages yeah. me to use, and really what that involves is having a really clear idea of what you're offering. Mm -hmm. um, so from something that's free right up to your very important packages that you provide your clients and customers um, and just get your ideas out on paper in the form of something like a star or um, and what do you think we could look forward to for next week well next week it's my birthday on Monday oh. we're having a party on the bank holiday on the bank holiday oh yes. happy birthday very much. So I'm going to be relaxing for a bit of next week. Um, the free ebook, which should be going live next next week, hopefully it's called Essential Ingredients. Um, 
how to make your fundraising amazing. So look out for that. It'll be a free download on the website. Um, thank you very much. Thank you.